Welcome back everyone. We were last seen making our way to a river's edge on private property we were given permission to hike through at dusk. Just wait and see what incredible animals we're about to find. As dusk arrived, we prepared for our hike, finding a suitable location to leave our vehicles, packing our belongings, and making sure we were well hydrated for a steamy walk through the jungle. Okay friends, we've been here on the Caribbean side of Costa Rica for, this is now our third night. And over time, we sort of like gotten the hang of things, you know? The first night was quite the learning curve of how to get down and herp and do everything in this incredible, enriching environment. Ooh. You okay? Mike, are you okay? Do <laughs> <laughs> you see it? You get a stop at your own way. Even in the, in the worst case. But now, you know, we, we sort of understand what we're doing. We know how to dress. We know how to be ready. We know how to stay hydrated. We know to bring toilet paper with us into the jungle. That kind of stuff. This is our last night in the Caribbean side of the country before we begin our journey to the cloud forests. And then we'll be on the Pacific side of the country. What we're hoping to see while we're still here, for me personally, is an eyelash viper. It's just such an incredible looking animal and I've always wanted to see one. They truly have the face of a dragon. It would just be a dream come true to see that animal. And that's what I'm hoping to see on our last night while we're in the Caribbean side of the country. Let's get out there. Guys, we just got here. What did we find? Two okay. snakes. I'm not sure exactly what type of snakes, but two snakes. So let's go find out what kind of snakes. Yeah. Friends, if you look closely, this is not a vine. We have another incredibly beautiful slug-eating snake. One of the things that I just can't get over in the jungle is you're walking around and everything on the floor is teeming with life. There are ants, spiders, cockroaches just running around everywhere you go. There's no shortage of wildlife to see here. Miguel, mm. ¿qué buscamos? ¿Qué buscamos? Um, buscamos serpientes. So you guys can see by the temperature and humidity, it's still about six o'clock at night and it is just climbing. The relative humidity will reach around 100% by the end of the day, especially because we are near the river. It's gonna keep climbing. Okay guys, so we've been seeing a lot of these. This is the Dactyloa frenata. It's a species of giant anolis. These anoles are so beautiful. Oftentimes you see them sleeping on the end of branches because there they're sort of more safe from snakes that'll come up to the top and if they awake in time they can leap off to safety on the jungle floor and the leaf litter etc. This one we startled and it woke up and ran up onto this tree trunk and we're very lucky that I guess he's a little bit stunned or resting. We're getting some footage of him to show you. One thing you have to remember about these hikes is that there is no natural light. Maybe the moon, but the only light you can see here is given off by our headlamps. Not only does this make the process more tricky, it also makes going through the jungle terrain a lot more dangerous. Because of the reduced visibility, you have to be very careful where you step as you may not notice uneven surfaces, loose stones that you choose to step on, slippery surfaces, and more. Waiting for water's edge. Okay friends, so we're here, we've just made our way up a creek and we've clampered up these stones here. Right above me is something that you don't get to see ever. 
It's truly a once in a lifetime experience. We have Valeri glass frogs that are in amplexus. They're holding each other. The male is clasped to the female and they're under this tree's large leaf getting ready to, well, reproduce. You'll notice that the male is actually sort of shimmying as he's trying to stimulate the female to release her spawn of eggs onto the leaf. And they'll slide out and sort of stay stuck to the leaf while he inseminates or fertilizes them. That is just something unreal. Mike also pointed out over here that there's another leaf that has two other clutches or spawns of eggs. One of them so developed that there are even tadpoles pretty close to, I guess, emerging and falling into the water below. So really something spectacular and very fortunate to be here to witness. Here we have another fishing spider. He's missing a few legs. Okay friends, we're moving along through the jungle here and there's so many different animals you can find in the foliage. Scurrying through, we heard some noise and under here, Christian has informed us that there is a Diplolosis bilobatis, which is a species of galley wasp found native here in Costa Rica. There are two species in this genus and this is the most colorful of the two you can find here. Let's have a look and see Oh, and we also have another friend crawling over the foliage. Let's see if we can turn over this leaf without startling the animal. Wow, that is amazing. This species exhibits sexual dichlomatism, which is when you actually have different color variation between the sexes of the animals. So this one here has very vibrant lateral coloration and therefore we're pretty certain that it is male. Very, very cool animal. I mean, all we've been seeing so far on this trip in the foliage for the most part are invertebrates. That's a nice, really nice time. Oppa. Uh, yep, I'm out. <laughs> Ciao. That's enough for me. To come across a species of reptile like this, that's just so interesting to see, really cool. Okay, everyone, so, as we've been exploring the jungles of Costa Rica, we've learned that there are several species of lizard that are actually active at night. We found some yellow spotted night lizards, funny enough, during the day, but very fascinating to learn about the nocturnal lifestyles of some of these animals. What we have seen as a pattern is that the majority of diurnal lizards that we're finding are sleeping and resting on branches of trees and generally speaking again on the end of those branches as sort of a safety precaution if nocturnal snakes make their way over to those branches sensing them to find an easy meal they have the opportunity to leap away and now right here below me is one of the most incredible lizards i've ever had the pleasure of seeing in the wild on this branch resting at night with this darker coloration we have a Basiliscus plumifrons, adult male animal. You can see here this incredible morphology, truly some sort of mythical animal, perhaps a dinosaur. You can see the crest that is over its head, over its back, down its tail. It's just such a stunning reptile to be able to witness and see a cool animal to enjoy observing in the wild here. Action. Today's video is brought to you by CR Wild, the ultimate way for you to experience the herpetofauna of Costa Rica. CR Wild is a company in Costa Rica. We like to promote reptile and amphibian conservation in the tropics through science, education, and tourists, of course. We have Taylor May Herpin Expedition Night Tour. Anything you need in Costa Rica, just click the link below or the pink comment. So Adam, what are you having for breakfast, man? I'm having toast and uh, eggs. You can only find this in Costa Rica, only on the Medi uh, Mediterranean, only on the east during the summer. <laughs> it's Mediterranean. I was, I was like, wait. <laughs> only on the Caribbean side can you find delicacies like white bread with butter and eggs from a real chicken. I'm very excited to have this meal. I'm very grateful. And hopefully, when we get back home, we can find somewhere that also serves meals just like this. So, Michael. How's your breakfast? Good. 
it's covered in hot sauce, so it's great. Nadim John. I'm on a diet, so. What? You actually didn't eat? No, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, okay. Is it though? Or... It's just a bit. Vian? Started. We're rolling. Frog and. Okay, everybody. We're back in the jungle, and we have been blessed to see a third species of glass frog. This is the Cochranella granulosa, and it is the granulated glass frog. It's a superbly beautiful animal. You can see all the little granulated dots or pattern on its back and it has this beautiful hue. It's a really, really cool frog and I've heard it's actually quite rare to come across in Costa Rica on these types of hikes. So honestly, we are just counting our blessings each and every day for the amazing species we're getting to witness. So you guys can hear the pomelos, they're just everywhere. What's also super cool is there are more species of dart frog that we've had the pleasure of seeing. We saw the Phyllobates around, but now today I want to point out that there's a resident here on the grounds of home base that are quite abundant and were very surprising to see in this type of environment. Most of them are in a pretty dense vegetated environment, tons of jungle, leaf litter, etc. But these frogs, Dendrobates auratus, are just everywhere hopping around on the grounds. Okay, everybody, this has got to be one of the coolest finds. You know how much I love invertebrates. This is an Onychophora, otherwise known as a velvet worm. I'm not certain on the species, but holy macaroni, this thing is long. And I've seen one so far. We've all seen one. It's a brown velvet worm. Again, not sure on the species. We'll have to double check. But this one is like three times the length of the other one. and. The coloration is so cool. Now, if you don't know, these animals actually shoot little webs of mucus to pin down insects and other invertebrates that they hunt in the jungle floor. So they're just moving along, cruising this ancient organism that is neither an insect nor a worm, and they'll feel around with their tentacles. As soon as they find prey, they'll shoot them out pin them down with the slime, and then they go up to them and literally just eat them alive. Kind of a sucky way to go. It's like evil Spider-Man. They're <laughs> really cool to see. So now everybody, we are actually on our way to the cloud forest. Very exciting. It's gonna be about three to four hours there. We'll be staying there one night, and then after that, we'll be heading to the Pacific side of the country and staying there for our last three days before heading back to the airport, which I don't even wanna think about because everybody back home has been posting photos of snow. Snow is just no, no thank you. Vidya. Gracias, amigo. Hasta la vista. The Caribbean side of the country was an incredible experience, but now it was time to head towards the cloud forest. Polandia. Polandia. Fried chicken. Polo fried.
Tropical, baby. Frutas. Frutas. Sí. So, Christian, what are you saying about the intersection here? Uh, if we're staying here 20 minutes more, <laughs> for sure we're going to see somebody dying. Oh my god. As long as no one is off, everything's okay. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Look at this intersection. Like four, like three, four-way traffic, no lights, just a free-for-all. Okay, everybody, we have just arrived in the Cloud Forest and uh, we've had dinner now. We're getting ready to go on our night walk. It's gonna be very interesting because we're only spending one night here and the type of biodiversity we can find is very unique here. It's not something that we usually would find in other parts of the country because the climate is very specific as well. We're turning the lights off inside, but wait till you see later what our home base while we're in the Cloud Forest looks like. It's very, very elegant. Very nice, gracias. And have a look. This is home base for one night. Not what we were expecting. Let's get out there with everybody and find some amazing reptiles. 